The subconscious mind is like the software of your mind. It has a bunch of filters in place that you know you you collected over the years growing up, you know, depending on how you were raised, depending on certain experiences you have. See, that's why everyone has different perspectives on everything and sees everything a little bit differently because they have different software. Now, the only way that you can actually change that software is by choosing your thoughts. We never stop and actually think about what we're thinking about. We're just getting bombarded with things all over the place and letting like 70,000 thoughts a day go through our minds. You know, but if you actually stopped and said, hey, is this thought moving me to where I want to go or moving me away from my goal? You'd probably have a lot different outcome. What are some simple things that you can do to achieve that, to train yourself to think positively? Well, the first thing you can do is stay present. You know, usually when you're thinking about the past, it's associated with feelings of regret, you know, remorse, thinking I should have done this differently, guilt and shame. And then when you're thinking about the future, it's all worry and anxiety about how it's going to turn out. Most people will take the present situation, compare it to something that happened in the past, and then act accordingly, and that creates a future that looks exactly like the past. All of these thoughts are just wasted energy. You know, they're not really getting you to where you want to go. So you want to stay present because in the present is where you have all your power. Another thing you can do to create a positive mentality is to write down 10 things that you're grateful for every morning when you wake up. I actually put this into practice and I had such an impact on my mood, such an impact on the way I behaved and the way I interacted with others. And because I was different, every other situation in my life was different. The way that you talk to yourself is super important, especially when you're trying to create a positive mental attitude. You know, we're our own biggest critics and we're super tough on ourselves. If you're always asking yourself, how can I grow? You know, how can I be better from this? How can I do something different next time? Then you're really always moving towards your goal and you're looking for solutions instead of problems. So talk to yourself, tell yourself how amazing you are because the more you tell it to yourself, the more you're gonna believe it and then the more the others around you are gonna see it as well. Being positive can mean something different for everyone, but sometimes it just means stepping away and like taking some time for yourself. One thing that I love to do to really get myself in a positive mind frame, maybe if I've been studying for a really long time, I'm super stressed out and I just need a break is I'll just literally like put some music on and like jump around and have a dance party of one. You know, taking some time to just breathe and enjoy everything that's around you. And that's really what having a positive mindset is all about. It's training yourself to see the beauty and to see the opportunity around you. When you close your eyes and imagine something and really like get into the feeling of having it, you know, and imagine every detail of it, you're programming your software. You're telling your subconscious that this is who I am. This is what I'm experiencing now because the subconscious does not know the difference between what's real and what's imaginary. I'm gonna share with you what I do when I study. I have a habit of, first of all, writing down the grades that I wanna get about a week prior to the exam. And I'll write these down more than once because when you write something down, you give it a lot of power. Another thing I'll do is I'll close my eyes and I'll see myself going into D2L, clicking on grades, you know, feeling that anxiety you get right before, right before you hit, you see your grade, and then I'll see the mark that I want being displayed on the screen, and I'll just let that flood of relief go over me. And the more I do it, the more I start to believe it, and the more my subconscious starts to believe it. And so then I study differently, and I, I write the exam differently, and the outcome is different because of that. So having a positive mindset isn't just something that you do for fun. You know, it's actually a really constructive tool that you can use to help you achieve the goals that you want to achieve and to help you get where you're trying to go. Your thoughts influence your feelings, which in turn influence your actions, and those actions become habits. And eventually your habits make you who you are. And every single day, a situation changes because of who you are and the way that you respond to it. So when you change your mind, you know, you start choosing positive thoughts over negative thoughts, you literally change the outcome of your life. Check out Rez's YouTube channel to go and find more videos like this one.